Mexico's joined the ranks of the world's largest economies. It became the first Latin American nation to host the G20. And just as Mexico is being transformed, so are the ties between our two countries. You know, as President, I've been guided by a basic proposition. In this relationship, there's no senior partner or junior partner. We are two equal partners, two sovereign nations. We must work together in mutual interest and mutual respect. And if we do that, both Mexico and the United States will prosper. And just as I worked with President Calderon, uh, I've reaffirmed with President Peña Nieto that the great partnership between our two countries will not simply continue. It, it's going to go stronger and become broader. And in my time with President Peña Nieto, I've come to see his deep commitment to Mexico and its future, and we share the belief that as leaders, our guiding mission is to improve the lives of our people. And so we agree that the relationship between our nations must be defined not by the threats that we face, but by the prosperity and the opportunity that we can create together. Now, as equal partners, both our nations must recognize our mutual responsibilities. And, and, and we're so grateful to Mexican Americans in every segment of our society for teaching our children and running our companies and serving with honor in our military and making breakthroughs in science and standing up for social justice. Yeah, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. told Cesar Chavez once, we are brothers in the fight for equality. And in fact, without the strong support of Latinos, including so many Mexican Americans, I would not be standing here today as President of the United States. That's the truth. 